Today we're going to draw a pirate hat. And so we have our big curved shape, like a big rainbow shape with our little cutout. We have our skull and crossbones, and we have a little bit of our pirate showing underneath his hat. One eye halfway covered, but then he's got a patch on his eye. Ready? Here we go. Let's start with this line that's got to go all the way across the page. And then we're going to go to about the middle of the page, ready, up to the top. Then we're going to make a big kind of a dip and we're going to go back down to that side. There's our pirate hat. Now we're going to trace the same right along the edge, kind of like a trim that when you adds another place of color, which is kind of fun. Add some more dimension to it. Okay, there's your hat. Now, we're gonna put our skull and crossbones, and that is right in the middle. We've got this almost a circle, and right at the bottom of it is a little bit of his head, and then we can erase this place. There we go. Very big eyes. And they usually make these kind of little lines here, like, like as if they were part of his teeth. Now when we do the bones, this bone is it's like a big X behind him, but so these have to kind of be um, like they're connected almost. See that? There you go. And then we have a little bumpy end of it. Boom, boom, there's our bone. And we're gonna do the same thing going this way. This, this, I didn't do that straight. There's our other one, and kind of a cap to it, a cap to it. And then we put our bump, bump on it. And we have our skull and crossbones. So let's get our pirate face. But you know, before we do that, I'm gonna start tracing this over in a darker line, and then we'll finish our pirate face. So I'm gonna trace the same lines I drew the first time. And so down the big curve, across the page, and we're gonna go this curve. So I didn't trace it exactly the same, but that's okay, so there's still a bit of erasing. I'm gonna go around here, and down this side. Now, we're gonna trace our skull and crossbones. So we just trace the big shape of the circle. Don't close it up this time. Down, across. Draw those kind of eyes. They're not really eyes, they're like the sockets where the eyes used to be. Okay, now this. This time we don't put the end on it, we just do the bone. A little bump bump shape at the end of the bone. This one, and remember, it's got to look like it's connected to this one, so those lines have to, be, they have to be lined up. Lines have to be lined up, there we go. Now, let's put a little bit of a pirate shape here. So we're gonna make his face down, and down. Now this guy, he has a big patch on this side of him but I overlapped, but it's okay because I'm gonna color all this in. And on this side, here's his other part of his eye. Now he's got his nose comes down, but right under his nose is his mustache. And he has little bumps on the side to the other piece of his nose. And we're gonna see the bottom of his mustache. And to make it look more like hair, we're gonna add these lines. And this pirate has not been shaving very well, so he's got a little bit of these little stubble. It kind of is supposed to look like somebody who needs to shave. Pirates aren't real tidy guys. So, Let's get the top part of his eye. Can't see very much of it. He's kind of lurking under that hat. He's got a little extra line to make him look a little tired or mean. And let's get his ear in here. And 
there we have our pirate. And if you want, you can also darken in the inside of your eye sockets because it's gonna look a little creepier. And there we have our pirate.